Hey YouTube, it's your girl Nye here back with today's Monday video. Uh, it's going to be crazy. It's a big twist at the end. I'm telling y'all. If y'all like today's video, don't forget to like, to share, and subscribe. And comment down below. Check out my video, my Instagram, everything, girl. I'm going to list it down in the description box down below. So, and let's get into today's video. In 2017, in Strongsville, Ohio, there was a couple, and their names were Bruce and Melinda Pleskovic. We, they received some great news that their daughter, Anna, and her fiancé, Jeff, are having a baby girl. They were so excited, but they was also knew that Jeff and Anna were in stable. Like, they had jobs, but Anna was still at home, and she was a waitress at the local Applebee's. And uh, Jeff, he had a better job. He was a service technician for a heat and an air company, but he still didn't have enough money to move out of his parents' home or support just him and Anna. So Bruce and Melinda, they wanted to help. They wanted to support. So Bruce and Melinda came up with this idea where Jeff would move in and they would save up their money and work while uh, Bruce and Melinda be the greatest grandparents they could be and help them save up their money so they could eventually move out. So in June of 2016, Anna has her beautiful baby girl and Jeff moves in. But not long, the Pleskovic family and Jeff start realizing some strange things happening around their house. One day, Jeff and Anna are home alone, and he is glancing out the back window in the kitchen while he, like him and Anna is eating dinner. And Jeff notices four strangers like lurking and smoking something in the back in the backyard. So he's like, Anna, yo, come here. Do you see this? Like, am I bugging? Like. So they don't know what to do because the people are obvious trespassing, but they're not, like, doing nothing. So as they are staring out the window, one of the four people walks up to their trampoline and start, like, messing with it. And Anna calls the police. But by the time the police arrived on scene, they couldn't, like, they couldn't, didn't find any evidence that anybody was ever there. So the police leaves and they are like, oh, if anything like this happens, please call us back. You know, the usual blase blase. So when Bruce and Melinda arrived home, Jeff and Anna, Anna they left, let them know, like, what was going on, like, why they was at dinner. And, like, Jeff and, I mean, Bruce and Melinda are like, the decades of us living here, we never had anything like that happen to us. But soon after that, they just left the whole situation alone. In November 2016, Anna and her daughter was home alone when she heard someone trying to open the back sliding door in the backyard, in the back of the house. When she walks into one of the back rooms and looks out the window, she sees an unknown male figure pressed up against the glass trying to see inside the house. Anna froze. She ducked down so the guy was don't see her, but he noticed her anyway, and he runs he runs off. But Anna, she runs upstairs to her room, and she locks the door, and she hurry up and calls the police. But again, when the police arrived, there wasn't no signs or evidence that somebody was trying to break in. So right away, she calls Jeff and her mom and dad, and she's like, yo, somebody tried to break in. They're horrified. They're running home. They, well, not running. They're driving home. And, like, they just rushing home to her. So the whole family is starting to think, like, this has to be connected to the four strangers that um, Jeff saw a couple of months ago in our backyard. But, like, they're like, who are they? What do they want? The family didn't have any enemies, especially the mother, Melinda. She was a middle school teacher for like, almost 20 plus years. Y'all know the teacher that we fuck with, like, our favorite teacher in middle school? Like, all her students loved her and adored her. Melinda was also an amaz uh, amazing soccer coach because she played back when she was in college. And her soccer team was, like, the, um, the one that was winning the most in their town. In the eyes of the other mothers in the neighborhood, she was also an inspiration because she had she was also a mother to an 18-year-old dyslexic Down syndrome nonverbal son. Sorry. Anna was also involved in everything. She made sure he was involved. He was treated right. The family is scared at this point. They are watching their backs. They're looking over their shoulder. They are terrified. Two months after Anna had that incident in January of 2017, Bruce's car was broken into and they stole his laptop. His car was also parked in the garage and they just broke into that too. 
He calls the police and tells them that the, his car has been broken into and it has to be the same people from before. They like, just keep bothering us. Like, do something. Anyway, the police believe him. They ask around the neighborhood and again, they are just stomped at this point. One night, Anna, Jeff, and their daughter are home alone, and Anna was looking at the back door when she notices three strangers this time, standing in the same spot as the other strangers from last year. When she calls the police, Jeff is in the background, you know, like, puffing his chest, he's, he's pissed, he's getting a, bell, a bat and a light, and he's going running towards them, and they just haul ass. So by the time the police come again, there was nothing. So they left, and the next my Anna is home this time by herself, and it's just her and her daughter, and she hears the same handle shaking noise that she heard the last time when someone tried to break in. This time, she is walking quietly down the hallway because she wants to see, like, she wants proof to, like, see, can she paint a picture to the cops of who is doing it? So she peeks around the corner, and this time it's two suspects that's trying to break into our house. But when she screamed, she alerted the two people and they fled the scene. They fled the scene. So again, when the police arrived, this time they left. They like, oh, just call us again. We ain't find nothing. You know, blah blah. Again, it's annoying at this point. I know. In September, you would think the shit is over now, but no. And clearly, the video is still continuing. Someone has stolen Melinda's car keys and kept making her a car alarm go off all night long she would like hear her car just beep 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 or her car would just start at random hours bruce car all tires had nails in it melinda goes on facebook to beg whoever is harassing her and her family to please leave them alone but it continues to go on on october 19th Jeff was home alone, and he heard the door not jiggling. He grabs the dog and turns the corner when the dog started barking and charging at the guy. And when the guy, when the dog turns, like, the guy starts haul ass and off the property. Jeff starts chasing at the dog. So Jeff, uh, he doesn't call the police this time because they're not going to do nothing. So after that, like four days later, on October October 23rd, <laughs> Bruce and Jeff went to Anna's job at Applebee's and had dinner. And when they left and got home, Bruce, Jeff, and his daughter were walking up the stairs to the front door of their house. And um, when Kyle opened the door, Bruce's son, they walk into the kitchen and they see something on the floor. And when they notice what's on the floor, they immediately run out the house. They grab Kyle and they go. Listening to the 911 call was so horrifying. When Jeff made the 911 call, he told them that Melinda was shot, like someone was attacked. So when the cops arrived on scene, it was found out that Melinda was shot three times and stabbed 39 times. The family, they just, they knew the people who did it before had to be guilty for this. So it was just like, oh my God. But anyway, while Jeff was on the phone with the police, Bruce was also calling the police. He was like, my wife been uh, uh, attacked. She's fighting for her life. We've been calling y'all for months and months, telling y'all what's going on with our family, and y'all did nothing. Like, he is pissed. And, like, it's so crazy because they saw this case in four days. <sighs> Jeff, Melinda, and Kyle were all home alone and it was said that at some point jeff goes put his daughter down goes in the kitchen and grabs a knife and stabs melinda over 35 times when melinda falls to the ground he also pulls out his gun and shoots her three times like it's so crazy his daughter was feet away and kyle was in the other room when this all happened so after he was done, he just cleans himself off, cleans off his weapons. He picks up his daughter, and he goes to have dinner with Bruce at Applebee's, knowing what he just did. And also, he left Kyle there, not even, like, he don't even know what's going on. So he's just, oh, my God, it's just crazy. But, yeah, to this day, we don't know why Jeff killed Melinda. It was said that he didn't have enough money to afford their um, wedding that was happening in a couple of days. And Melinda came up to him and uh, confronted him about it. 
but also that can't be because Jess have been doing this for months like this been going on for months like the four people sometimes it was just him or sometimes it was like um he hired his friends or co-workers and stuff like that um it's so crazy mr ballin from tiktok and youtube you could go check out his channel at mr ballin he actually had an opportunity to speak to one of jeff close friends and jeff close friends stated that jeff load melinda like if you don't know what load mean it mean like the lowest of the hate like somebody really hates you and when he moved in he ben was plotting to kill melinda like he just didn't like her and he was making this whole scene seem like strangers were stalking him so when he got the opportunity to kill melinda he could like he wouldn't be charged it would be the strangers but the cops found him they found evidence in his car like bloody weapons that 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 type of stuff in his car like you could check out um i'm gonna put links in the description of the 911 call i'm gonna insert some pictures i hope y'all enjoyed tonight's video if you did please don't forget to like subscribe and share and comment down below i want to know your opinions um check out my website and my instagram my website is nicebeauty.com these lashes are by me um, I didn't put my lip gloss on today. I felt like lipstick was enough. I kind of did this video late, that's why. So just check out my um Instagram and my website at Nice Beauty and Nice Beauty on Instagram. Don't forget to uh check out my TikToks and I'll see y'all Thursday for this Thursday. Thank y'all. Peace.